Hey, hey everyone. Today I want to show you how to use the new checkbox feature in Excel. Well, I think it just makes your spreadsheets look a little bit more visually pleasing. And there's a whole bunch of other features that come along with it that you can add to your spreadsheet to make it that little bit better. As you can see here, as I'm clicking this checkbox, the tasks on the left hand side are starting to get a strike through. As you can see, it's now completed. And also, as I'm clicking these checkboxes, the tasks that are completed are now appearing over here on the right hand list, which is the completed tasks section. There's some other little tricks that are happening is when I'm clicking the checkbox, the arrow or the, the check is actually turning into green. And then we're summing up some values down here because you want to know how many of the tasks are being completed. So as I'm clicking through them, you can see the number of tasks that are being completed is six and the value of the task is 55 because each of those tasks are assigned a value. And you can click them off and it will take those values away. Really handy feature, really easy to use. So I'm going to show you how this is done very quickly. So just pause and rewind the video if you need to and you can check it out again. So let's go over to sheet two where I've got all the information but now I want to add that information. So just to let you know this is a new feature in Excel and as of the 31st of July 2024 this is now available to the public. That's according to Copilot. So all you need to do if you've got Excel 365 is update your Excel and this feature should now be available to the public not just insiders. So let's show you how this is done. It's a pretty simple process so now in C3 where we want that first checkbox, we're going to go up into the ribbon, go over to insert, and down the middle there, there's a new option called checkbox. And it's as simple as that. We've added a checkbox into C3. We want to copy this down so there's a checkbox for each of those tasks, and it's as simple as that. So now what we want to do is we want to click this checkbox and have all those things happen that we had on the other spreadsheet. And as you can see, nothing's happening at the moment. It's just got a little checkbox. But at the moment, you can see if I hover over this checkbox in C3, it's got false in the formula bar. That's the value of it. And when you click the checkbox, it now turns to true. So that's really handy because we need to use these in formulas down the track. So I'll take this off and click it back on. So the first thing we wanted to do is make the task look like it's got a strike through through it when it's completed. So how we do this is we're going to click into cell B3, go up to the ribbon home, scroll over to conditional formatting and add in a new rule. And we're going to go down to the sixth one, which is use a formula to determine which cells to format. We'll click this one. And now I usually like to click the little arrow that helps me build the formula. And now I can say if C3 equals true, remember true is when the checkbox is selected, what do we want to happen? Now automatically put these dollar signs or fixed cells in there. So I'm going to take those dollar signs out. So it's simple as equals C3 equals true. So if it's true, what do we want to happen? I'm going to format that now. I'm going to select the strike through. And I'm also going to go change the font style to bold. And press OK. And press OK again. And now you can see that when the checkbox is ticked, that task turns to, uh, turns to bold. And it also has a strike through. Now we want to copy this down to all the other cells. It's a pretty simple process. We right click that cell, copy. I'm going to highlight the cells where I want to paste the same formatting. Right click and paste special formatting. That's the one with the little brush. Otherwise you can, you can simply paste special value uh, formatting. So I'm going to click that brush. And now you can see as I click through these tasks, they're getting that strike through and turning bold. The next thing I had in my other spreadsheet or the other tab was that the che checkboxes were turning green just to make it a little bit more popping to, and show that when a checkbox is being completed. So again, I'm going to use that conditional formatting because when you change the color of a cell of a checkbox to a different color, it pretty much just changes the color of the checkbox. But we want to do that dynamically. We don't want to do that one by one. So we're going to go back up into the ribbon, home, conditional formatting, new rule, again, use a formula to determine which cells to format, click that one, and build that formula again, equals C3 equals true. So again, when this, when this checkbox in cell C3 is clicked or true, what do we want to happen? Again, I'm going to take out those 
lock cells so we can copy that formula to the other cells. Click that down arrow so we can now complete our formatting. And what do we want to do this time? We want to change the color to green. Press OK, press OK again, and now it's changed. We're going to copy that cell down to all the other ones by right clicking, right clicking, paste special. We're going to paste the formatting. And now as those checkboxes are ticked, it's turning to green on that checkbox. Okay, so the next part is we want to count the number of tasks completed. And we're going to use that formula where it says true when a che checkbox is ticked. So it's a simple count if formula equals count if. We're going to count the number of cells if it equals true. So the range of cells is C3 to C10, comma, and the criteria is that it equals true. Close the brackets, press enter, and now you can see that there's four completed tasks. And if I click another one on, it adds up. So it's very dynamic as you click those checkboxes. The second one is very similar, but instead of clicking how many have been selected, we want to get the values of those tasks, depending on which ones you select. So let's go back into that cell and start building a new function, which is a sum if function. So it's very similar, equals sum if. It's asking for the range. So what do we want to sum? The range of C3 to C10, comma. The criteria is the same. It's if the criteria is true, comma. And the sum range, this is what we're going to sum if that condition is met, is D3 to D10. Close the brackets and press enter. And you can see that the value or the total value is 50. Take these off and those number of tasks completed and the values also decrease. Okay, so the last phase of this particular spreadsheet where I've got these check marks is we want to actually get the tasks from this list over here and bring them over to the completed task list in column F. So to do this, I'm gonna use what's called a filter function, very handy to use. I've got many other videos with the filter function which I'll put in the description below because I use this filter function all the time. So let's use it and combine it with this checkbox. Equals filter, open brackets. The array that we wanna filter is column B. So we're gonna filter column B3 to B10, comma, and include anything from C3 to C10 that equals true. Comma, and if it's empty and there's nothing ticked, is there something you want to put there instead? So I'm going to say maybe nothing selected. And I'll put that in double quotation marks just because it's text, close the brackets and press enter. And you can see that task one and task three, the two that have been selected, are heading over here in column F. I add task four, it gets added. I add task six, it gets added. And just like I said before, if I take all those checkboxes off and there's nothing there, it comes up with nothing selected. So there's a really simple example on how to use checkboxes in, an, in a spreadsheet. Well, I think it's really handy. It can really make your dashboards or spreadsheets pop. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe. See you next time. Take it easy.